According to a report by the World Economic Forum, analytics, big data, and cloud computing could create between 9.6 trillion and 21.6 trillion in value for the global economy. However, if attacker capabilities outpace defender capabilities, this could result in an economic impact of $3 trillion by the year 2020. The number of threats and sophistication of attacks are increasing relative to the increase in big data and cloud. The great business value that big data and cloud provides catches the attention of many CIOs, while cybersecurity gets left behind. Instead of playing the waiting game, initiate an investment strategy in cybersecurity. Mitigate losses in the enterprise by safeguarding the investments made in big data and cloud. Angie Technologies proposes a solution to increase defender capabilities and secure the investments made in big data and cloud. A portion of our diversification strategy includes performing a risk analysis, preventing hardware malfunction, securing data, and authentication. A risk analysis ensures security best practices are met by identifying the definition of low risk, medium risk, and high risk. A risk analysis identifies the risk to your network, network resources, and data. Assign each network resource one of the following three risk levels, low risk, medium risk, and high risk. Assigning a risk level to various data sets allows organizations to more effectively use security resources. One protocol to prevent data destruction is to prevent hardware malfunction through various mechanisms. For example, implement a RAID 1 hard drive mirroring protocol. A RAID 1 hard drive configuration mirrors data on a second hard drive. On a regular machine, if a hard drive is destroyed, the data is completely destroyed. On a machine configured with RAID 1, if hard drive 1 is destroyed, the data on the second hard drive will not be destroyed. Another way to secure data is through access control, a key in controlling who gets to see the data, programs, and other computing resources. There are four key areas, physical security, authentication, user groups, and security policies. As an example of a security policy, educate users about locking policies. For a Windows operating system, press Windows key plus L to lock the system from other users. Authenticate users through software and hardware with knowledge factor, ownership factor, and inherent factor. Knowledge factor is something the user knows, like a password or personal identification number. Ownership factor is something the user has, like an ID card or security token. Inherent factor is something that is part of the user, like a fingerprint or retinal pattern. Maintain multi-factor authentication, where a user must use two or more factors to prove identity. Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. If you would like further information regarding cybersecurity in your enterprise, feel free to email us at info at angietechnologies.com. With cybersecurity information request in the subject of the email. Click in the description below for information regarding our capabilities. Click on the two images toward the right to take you to our landing pages to see our digital pamphlet. Or feel free to call us at 214-383-4611.